Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another tutorial. So today, I am here to show you on how you can install shaders for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, more specifically on your Windows 10 and mobile devices. Now if you're on Xbox, it is slightly different on how you can install these things, but there are plenty of tutorials out there that will help you along the way. But if you're on Windows 10 or mobile, it is 10 times easier. All that you have to do really is go ahead and go over to your favorite internet browser which is what I'm going to go ahead and do right now and you can just go ahead and scroll down until you find the download. Now right here this is going to be the ESBE 2G shaders created by MCBE or Ringy. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. I'm not too sure but it's kind of wrong there but anyway I'm just going to go and come down here and this is what you're going to want. Now fun fact about shaders and texture packs they're actually a lot better to download than add-ons because you don't have to worry about going through AppFly most of the time. A lot of times they just give you the link right away. And now it does state that the Nintendo Switch is unsupported and that's just because well Switch there is really no way of getting add-ons and stuff like that so I'm open that in the future there will be a way to do that. Maybe through the marketplace. I mean who knows. But anyway once you go ahead and click on this button it should take you over to Mediafire and then you can just go ahead and click on download and once you go and click on download look on the bottom of your browser and you will find your download all that you have to do from there is click on it and then it goes right into minecraft but that's pretty much it on how you can go ahead and install it to your game but if you want to install it in your world you then have to go ahead and go to either global resources within your settings and go ahead and apply it from there or if you just want it on one of your worlds you can just go ahead and come over here, click on the little button right there, then go down to resource packs and apply it from there. So either way, that is how you do install shaders for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. And in my own opinion, the ESBE shaders pack, it is one of my favorites. It's very, very beautiful, very amazing for any Minecraft player out there. And they actually just released a brand new update, which is the 2.1 update. And 2.1 gives us ambient occlusion. And look at that. We have ourselves beautiful shadows. We have ourselves just some beautiful water. And whenever we're under, underneath the water, even the ground underneath you and around you is going to be waving. And that's really cool. It makes you really feel like you're underneath the water. Especially with the trees. The trees do have a lot of waving as well. And you know what? In my own opinion, this is just one of the best resource packs that you can get for shaders right now. Now, if you go ahead and maybe switch it to nighttime, which is where I'm going to go and do, I'm actually going to go to sunset, you'll see that the shadows do move as the time does go by. And whenever you go ahead and go over to, let's say, sunrise, the sunrise it makes everything orange, which is just really, really beautiful. And now, just flying around the world at nighttime, it really does look really, really beautiful, especially with the aurora borealis. It just makes the sky look a lot better with the ambience. It's just things like that. And anyway, we do have ourselves a few lights right here as well. And this is going to be the last thing that we are going to look at. So this is going to be our jack o' lantern we have ourselves our redstone torch, which we're going to go ahead and use to power up our beautiful redstone lamp, which does look really cool as well. We also got ourselves our sea lantern, which in my opinion, it's like really bright. I think it's the middle part that's super bright. But then we have ourselves our lantern, which does look really cool as well. So like if you were to go on Agnes, like let's say uh, right here, you're going to see that it will end up lighting the area pretty well. So then finally we have ourselves our sea pickle. And for the sea pickles we do have to be underneath the water. And the more that you place the better it's going to look obviously. And here is our campfire right there. And with that one that is pretty much it on what I wanted to showcase off with today's video. If you do want to go and get this there will be a link down below. And I hope that this tutorial did help you out in one way or another. And if you enjoyed this video then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe. So you never miss an upload. But for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.